hey guys welcome back to my channel so in today's video we will develop this power bi project from start to end we will see all the steps which are involved in this particular power bi project in this complete video so whatever you are seeing in front of your screen this will be our final output and this dashboard we will be designing from start to end in power bi software itself so i will give you an overview of this particular dashboard whatever we are having so this dashboard is actually a complete dynamic and interactive da dashboard which will be operated by few filters or few slicers and we have also used some interactive and quick filters as well so the topic which we have chosen today is a road accident analysis we have a road accident data and the, i will provide a link in the description box from where you can download the data and you can follow with me into your system all right so uh, whatever we have so first filter which we have here is the road surface so with respect to road surface if you want to um, see our data we can go ahead and see so whenever i'm uh, operating this particular filter so let's say we want to see for dry surface whenever i click on dry the dashboard will be giving us the values for dry surface similarly if i want to see for snow so it will give us that particular values right similarly uh, with respect to weather condition also we have some uh, filters here so if i want to see for fine weather so it will give us uh, the values with respect to fine weather if i want to see for rainy season so it will give us with respect to that the values all right so apart from these slicers we have also used some quick filters so if you can see this particular donut chart so when i click on this particular urban uh, slice so you can see the values are changed with respect to that if i want to see for rural so values will be changed with respect to that similarly for light condition if i want to see for daylight how many road accidents were done so you can see with respect to that i'm getting these particular values similarly if i want to see with respect to road type and i want to see it for dual carriageway and when i click on this particular bar uh, it is an interactive filter which gives us the value with respect to that all right similarly here as well so this dashboard is completely dynamic it will give us the idea of each and every uh, what we can say granularity if a uh, user want to see all right and uh, what i will give you an overall idea of what is there in this particular dashboard so here are some primary kpis which we have designed uh, these are the vertically placed secondary kpis which are designed uh, as per the needs of customer so this is the trend line for the uh, area chart which gives us the trend for current year and previous year casualties so this is the casualties by urban and rural conditions so this is the casualties by location so this is a map and if you hover over on this particular map so it will in this particular tool tip you will get an idea of how many casualties were there how many vehicles were involved in that particular district or particular area and one more donut chart which gives us the idea with respect to light condition and the bar chart with respect to road type all right so this was an overview of the dashboards these are the steps in our project which we will see one by one in this video and the first step which we have here is the requirement gathering which is the very important step in any project whenever we are starting we gather the requirement from our client from our stakeholders then second are the stakeholders in this project the stakeholders are nothing but who are the users of this particular project or the dashboard which we will be designing and then that those stakeholders will take some insights from that particular dashboard third one is the raw data overview or we can say this will be our database as well we will analyze and we will see how our data is there then fourth one is connecting our data or connecting with database uh, uh, with our power bi desktop then we have data cleaning we will be cleaning some data and uh, we will be modifying the data with respect to our use then there is a data processing in this particular step we will do some calculations in our data so that uh, and we will be doing it with respect to some of the tax queries or some of the power pivot uh, queries as well then next one is the data modeling where we will be joining the tables we will be joining the multiple tables and we will see how we can do that in our uh, power bi project then we have to design the um, background as well so whatever background which i have shown you it has been designed in powerpoint i will show you that as well then we will do actual data visualizations we will design some charts which will be used in our uh, particular dashboard then after designing them we will try to build a dashboard as well out of that 
and while continuing with this particular video and whenever we are designing any of the chart i will give you the insights as well like what this particular chart is giving us an output or insights for that particular user so the next we will start with our first uh, what we can say step into this particular project that is a requirement gathering okay so this is the very important steps guys uh in real time industry as well you cannot go ahead and directly start doing the project so your client will have a meeting with you where you will gather some information of what should be done into this particular project you your team lead your manager will sit with the client and uh, you will have a meeting for long time and you will gather all the requirements so what client wants here is uh, he want to create a road accident dashboard for 2021 and 2022 so that they can have some insights on the below requirements which we have provided for us so what they want is they want a primary kpi where they want to show a total casualties and total accident uh, for current year and he want also to see how much year on year growth is there with with respect to last year in this particular current year how many accidents have been increased or if they have decreased and what is the percentage of that increase or decrease right so this is his primary kpi and one more primary kpi he want is he want to see the accidents or total casualties in that particular accident taken place with respect to the severity of that accident and he want to also see for year on year growth for that and he want to only see that particular severity accidents or total casualties for current year okay he don't want to see overall he want to only analyze it for this particular year the secondary kpis is also he want to see the casualties with respect to different vehicle types and that is also for current year he want to see how is the monthly trend with respect to last year like uh, whether the uh, trend of the accidents is decreasing with respect to last year or it is increasing month on month right and he want to see the casualties by road type right so there are different roads like single carriage double carriage you can uh, understand if i say a multi lane or a single lane the what we can say road type so what are the road accidents in there how can we reduce that if it is single lane so if it is single lane there are more accidents if we have to convert it into double lane so that more or the accidents can be reduced right then he want to see current year casualties by area locations right oh, like in urban area there are more accidents or in rural area there there are more accidents then he want to also analyze that particular accident with respect to day or night so whether in daylight there are more accidents or at the night time there are more accidents and he will also want to see with respect to locations how many accidents are taking place right so he can analyze like which uh, which is the hot spot of or which particular area is the hot spot for the n number or more number of accidents right so this is our first step where you do the requirement gathering you sit with your customer gather all the documents gather all the information and then you can go ahead and start your development right so our second step into this project is stakeholders so stakeholders is nothing but uh, whatever the dashboard you are going to develop who will be user of that particular dashboard right so your client will be not the alone user your client may be having some multiple stakeholders right so if you see the road accident dashboard so many people are affected and many people are connected to that particular dashboard right obviously the first and main important thing is the ministry of transport uh, who will be directly affected who, where they want to see what are the road accidents how they are occurred and uh, in different scenarios like what requirements they have provided us with respect to that they will come up with some insights and they will take that preventive decisions they will take so in in that case in that case that they want to reduce the accidents the second one will be the road transport department the police force and emergency services department where health and uh, medical services come then road safety corps then there are transport operators traffic and management agencies there may be government bodies or private bodies then public obviously we people are also important in this particular uh, dashboards and media as well right so there are some people who are directly or indirectly connected to this particular dashboard where they will be user of this particular dashboard so these are the main stakeholders there may be many but these are the main which i have highlighted over here so always remember 
you have to identify who are your stakeholders who are your users of this particular dashboard and in that way you have to think and then you have to develop and design your dashboard okay so this is very important find your users understand your users and uh, see what what is important for them to show in this particular dashboard okay so this were our second step we will go the next step or not this is not a step actually i will sh whatever in this particular project what functionalities of power bi you will be studying so that you will get an idea like what you will be learning and what uh, different learnings you will be getting in, uh, as a beginner or as an intermediate in this particular uh, dashboard or in this particular project so you will learn how to connect the raw data or a flat file you, we will see the data cleaning in power query we will see the data processing in power query then we will uh, develop a time intelligent functions where we called it as a calendar date table in power bi so this is very very much important whenever there is a date column present into your dashboard and then we have a data modeling data modeling where we will connect our different tables with respect to our uh, or we, what we can say we, uh, with respect to different tables right so it is nothing but in we call joining of these tables right and then we will uh, see some dax calculations to find year to date and year on year growth calculations we will create some kpis and some advanced kpis as well how to create that then we will create some custom charts and different measures in the report and some columns as well we will be importing some images how to import them right so then we will create different charts and we will generate the insights and we will sh uh, show and we will also uh, explain like how we can export this particular report right so we are developing this but how we can uh, make this particular report available to uh, the users where they can access in their own system right so these are some functionalities where you which you will be studying in this project so in this video we will be designing this particular project in power bi software but i have also designed this particular project in tableau desktop and excel and i have uploaded those projects on my youtube channel i will add the link for you in this description box so you can go ahead and watch those as well if you are interested those are also a full project video in tableau and in excel so this particular types of project in different softwares take a lot of effort guys so i i request you guys to go ahead and like the uh, this video subscribe the channel and share it with your friends also turn on the notification bell so whenever i'm uploading uh, more power bi and more tablet videos you will get a notification and you will learn something from that the next step in our project is the data overview we will see how what is the data what is the metadata all right so uh, this particular file is an excel file which is our database today i will put and link into the description box from where you can go ahead and download this particular file and you can use it in your system as well all right so uh, most of the times in real time industries what will happen guys you will be provided with sometimes you will be provided with flat files like excel pdfs or csv files but in most of the cases you will be provided with some databases right and that those databases may be your sqls right or sql servers maybe oracle postgres mysql or any other sometimes you will be provided with some uh, services like uh, azure web services or amazon web services uh, or gcp is where your uh, all the data will be located on cloud services and from there you have to connect your power bi and then you can go ahead and bring your data into our system right so there are many connectors available today and they vary from company to company and from client to client and in today's our case we will be using this particular excel file or flat file all right so if you can see in this particular dashboard uh, if i see the metadata so if i see here uh, and uh, the number of rows which we have here it's 3000 or we can see 307 thousands of rows are there in this particular file and if you see the columns uh, total number of columns are 21 all right and before starting any power bi dashboard let it be tableau or any excel dashboard or any other visualization tools where you want to analyze your data always remember to study your data first 60 to 70 percent of solutions are uh, what we can say extracted with uh, studying the data itself right you have to study how the data is how it is flowing from higher end to lower end what is the granularity of the data what is the level of detail of this particular data if you study that and 
it will be very much easy for you to go ahead and uh, you know prepare the dashboard so 60 of 7 60 to 70 percent of work is done on the data itself and 40 percent is just to your visualization or making it or bringing it into the visualization and reading the insights from that all right so this is the data which we will be using now we will go ahead and bring this into our power bi so i have taken a new power bi file where we will start our next step of our project that is connecting our power bi desktop with our data source or our database right so there are different default connectors which you can see over here that is uh, from excel or from sql server or from blank table so if there is some another data source apart from this so you have an option here get data from another c source so when i click on this it will take some time to load this particular all the database and you will you will see a new uh, window will pop up over here and there are different uh, what we can say connectors available like if you click on file it is the flat file connectors right like excel csv file pdf request and all that. in the databases when you go there are different sql server databases like postgres are there mysql is there teradata is there and many more right and if you go on azure services these are some azure services in online services you will get like salesforce is there all other many 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 uh, like online services are there like gcp is there google cloud google analytics is there right so for now for we uh, for our project in this we have an excel workbook so we will go in file click on this particular excel workbook and you will click on connect so it will ask us where is your file located so you have to go ahead and track your file so for me it is in my this particular folder and this is my file so i will just click here and click on open and it will take some time to load the data right so whenever it is open you have to click which sheet your data is present here right so i will just this is my sheet where my all data is present so i will just check this and you can see this is the sample data which it will provide us like you have to check if all the columns are there and if uh, like how like the sample data is showing correct or not right so then if it is not showing correct you have to go in this particular transform data option and you can go ahead and check your data and you can uh, if you if you if you want you can edit or, or clean your data over there so for now i will just click on load so when i hit load option so it will take some time uh, to load our data right depending upon the size of the data and uh, number of rows of your data right all right so when your data will be loaded there will be three windows or three panels over here first is the report view so in this particular window or in this particular ui you will be building your visuals and your dashboard the second one which we have here is the data view when i click on this particular data view so this in this particular view you will be seeing all your data how it is looking whether it is correct or not and any new calculations or new columns which you will be adding into this particular uh, sheet those will be also reflected over here right and the third one is your model view right so this is nothing but if there are multiple tables and how if you want to go ahead and connect them with respect to each other on primary key and foreign key so this in this particular window you will be joining a multiple tables or you will be doing a data modeling so we will see further we will be doing the data modeling in our case so i will go back again to our data view and we will see if our data is correct or not so there are some filter options uh pre uh what generated over here so when i click on this particular drop down you can go ahead and check over here if this particular data is correct and if there are uh, any blanks over here or if a null values are there and if any something different is there right so you can go ahead and check each and every column go ahead and check each and every date as well right so if there is any blank or what uh, if this particular field is also blank in junction control junction detail right everything you can go ahead and check you can go ahead and check if there is a spelling mistake in any of this particular data right so there are uh, like that but there is a spelling mistake in any of the data but it is having the same meaning right so if it, if it has the same meaning then we have to go ahead and change that particular data so when i click on accident severity so now here you can see uh, we have three severities one is fatal serious and slight but there is a data error over here that is fetal as an accident severity has been added which is a typing error by the uh, user who was typing or 
who was uploading this data so this is what we have to clean over here so how to clean how to convert this fetal into fatal so that we will be having only three accident severity so this is something that we will be doing in our next step of this particular project that is data cleaning okay so now how to do data cleaning in our power bi project right whenever the uh, data is already there into our power bi desktop you have already called the data right we will be not changing our data in the data source right we will not go ahead and change our data in our excel sheet but we will change it itself here right we will clean our data here itself in power bi so for that we will go again in our report view and here is the small drop down so i will just click on this drop down so you will be available with all the options which we see here all right so the next thing what we have to do is you have to go in your home ribbon tab and you have to click on here that is transform data so as soon as you click on this transform data it will open us a new window and it will take us into our power query power query editor right so i will just click on this particular transform data option and you can see a new window have been opened which is called as power query editor so this is a kitchen of our power bi desktop right so kitchen in the sense we will cook our data we will give shape to our data we will clean our data everything and then we will go back to our power bi and we will start designing all right so everything any cleaning of the data which we have to do you have to come into power query editor and you have to clean your data over here all right so now what we have to do is our this column that is accident severity column we have to convert this fetal into fatal so how to do that so what you have to do is select this particular total column so all the values will be selected over here then you have to go in home ribbon tab and you have a option over here that is replace values okay as i will just click on this particular values and it is asking us what you have to find and what you have to replace that particular value with right so what i have to find is i have to find the fetal value right which is a spell mistake value and i want to replace this fetal with fatal okay so this is the option which we will be using that is replace value i want to change fetal and replace it with it fatal okay and i will just click on okay all right so it this particular power query editor have done its work now we will check and see if our value has been completed you can see this particular fetal value which was there it has been vanished and it has been converted to fatal so in this way we have clean our data and if you can see in applied steps over here so if any new user comes and if you want to see what was uh, what cooking or what changes have been done into your data what cleaning you have done so these are the steps so you can see value has been replaced okay so if we go and see here and if we click on here so uh, on this particular settings icon he will he will come to know that yeah this particular step was performed on this particular data in power query editor where you have changed this particular fetal value with respect to fetal okay so this is a very good uh, what we can say understanding to a new user or to a new developer here when he is working on your project okay so power what we can say power bi is very much organized in this particular way so it will help a new developer also to know what are the steps applied what were the cleaning done in this particular data so if you are also working on some another's project you have to check this applied steps on this particular data all right so now we have done our cleaning of our data now we have to go back to our power bi so how to go back so in this case what we will do there is an option called here uh, that is close and apply okay so in home ribbon itself we have a close and apply option so when i hit on this particular button you will come back to our power bi and whatever changes we have done all the changes will be applied and your new data will be loaded again into our power bi desktop so the data is a bit big so it will take some time to load your data and once it is done you can see your data will be loaded over here so you can see our data has been loaded now we will again go to our data view and if we we can see if all the changes have been done correctly or not so the problem was with our accident severity column so when i click over here you can see fetal has been vanished or it has been gone from here because we have cleaned it in our query editor so in this similar way you have to check all the data right and if you can see uh, any changes are needed to be done you can go ahead and change it or 
you can uh, clean it in our power query data all right so this is our uh, the step where we have done the data cleaning our next step in our project is data modeling so in this particular step we will be using some custom formulas some custom dax formulas where we will be transforming our data so uh, for that we will go again back to our report view so in one of the requirement where client have asked us to uh, you know determine the year to date uh, casualties year on year casualties growth a percentage whether they are increasing with respect to last year and what is the percentage of increase if they are decreasing what is the percentage of decrease so in that case we have to use some time intelligent functions and for that we have to create a date table so not particular for this project if you are working for any project in future always remember if there is a date field into your data always create a date table which is a custom table which we will be creating in this and the reason behind that to create is it will it allow us to play with our dates where you can go ahead and determine the year to date functions and for we will be having a new table where we can create uh, we can extract the year from that particular date table we can extract month quarters and many more things weeks week numbers month numbers quarter numbers likewise and whenever you are working in any project like uh, you are working on sales domain you are working on bank domain you're working on insurance or manufacturing domain always remember you have to create a date table some people call it as a calendar table as well right so first what you have to do is you have to turn on your time intelligence functions right so you have to go into your file then you have to go in your options and settings and you have to go in options right so when you click over here there is in current file there is one option called data load and make sure in here that this particular time intelligence auto date and time this particular checkbox is checked all right so if it is not it will give us a problem while we are writing the calculations or while we are writing a time intelligent functions right what are the time intelligence functions if you go to our website of microsoft power bi help as well the power bi functions uh, which are in time intelligence are like total quarter to date total year to date or uh, parallel quarter to date or the same period last year quarter to date year to date functions right so wherever you are using year to date month to date quarter to date anything with respect to time always remember this is checked and you have created a date table into your model okay so i will just click on okay the next thing what we have to do is we have to create a date table or a calendar table which will be having a dates only okay and we will see how what how it is significant over here right now we will go into our home first right now we are in home go in this modeling ribbon and here is an option called new table so just we have to just click over here and i will name this particular table as calendar okay so you can give any name but for me it is a calendar which will be giving us a calendar of all the dates and that calendar will help us to determine year to date values okay so this is the calendar and we will be using a function to determine or to make our calendar its calendar function okay so there are multiple ways to do this but what i do there are two functions i will explain these both functions to you so when i click on calendar at all and when i click uh, you can see there was a first argument which we had here is a fiscal year end month so you have to specify here by from which month you have to start okay so if i am giving a blank value by default power bi will understand that we have to start with january month if i click over here as a one so by default it will start with february one means what it will skip january and it will start your fiscal year with february but we have to start for our with respect to our uh, what we can say scenario we have to start it with january and end to december all right so this is important guys okay if i uh, i will show you in practical so i will just hit enter okay so when i hit enter a new table will be created and that table will be visible over here right so first there was only data a new table has been created a calendar and if you want to view that table you have to go into data view okay and if i click on data in this particular you will see all the data when i click on calendar you can see all this calendar okay but by default if you can see it is starting from 1st of january 1899 and it is ending at last if you go at 31st december 2022 
ओके लेट्स से योर फिजिकल मंथ और फिजिकल ईयर इज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम सम डिफरेंट डेट ओके सो लेट्स से इफ यू वांट टू स्टार्ट एज एन एज इन इंडिया अवर फिजिकल ईयर इज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम फर्स्ट ऑफ अप्रैल एंड एंडिंग एट थर्टी फर्स्ट ऑफ मार्च एंड इन द सेम वे यू हैव टू डिजाइन योर कैलेंडर सो वट आई विल डू टू डू दैट January, February, March. Third is the month where March will end. I will specify three over here, and when I hit enter, so you can see your fiscal or this calendar is starting from first of April. Okay, and whenever you will be determining your year-to-date calculations, so you want to find year-to-date sales, so that year-to-date sales are nothing but the sales from first of April to thirty-first of March. Okay, so this is the power of calendar, guys. Okay. if there are some custom use of calendar which you have to start with some middle months or some different months depending from your depending uh, upon your client client you have to use this trick okay so if i click uh, one so it will start from february right in this way but we have to start it from january don't mention zero over here just keep it as blank it will by default start your calendar with from January and end of the your fiscal year calendar will be December thirty first. All right, but you can see in this particular table, guys, the date is starting from eighteen ninety nine, and we don't have data itself for eighteen ninety nine. Why to add so many dates over here? All right, so in our data only, I have shown you we have the data from first January twenty twenty one to thirty first December twenty twenty two. That is for two years, but. this particular calendar auto function is creating a date table from like so many years like from 1899 to 2021 like it is not necessary right so instead of using calendar auto i will use another function that is calendar only okay so this particular argument it is asking us give us the start date and end date by which you have to design your calendar right so in this case you can hard core your date also in double inverted comma you can give your date like 1 1 Twenty twenty one, and it should be ending with let's say, comma, whatever date you have specifying. But we don't want to hard code, right? So whenever our data will be changing with respect to that, our calendar should also change. Like, uh, like let's say accident date is there. Like we will be using accident date itself to create the calendar year. So if accident date we are going in twenty twenty three, and if we are hard coding it for twenty twenty two and twenty twenty one, this will not change, right? so it will change with respect to whatever date is entered into our accident date so what we will do what is the start date we want we want it as minimum it should be minimum of accident date right it should be minimum of this accident date that is from here right so we will close this and second argument we want is end date so end date is nothing but maximum of accident so i will just mention it as maximum function and we want as accident date from here right so this is the accident date we will close our parenthesis okay and as soon as i hit enter you can see the date is starting from 1st of uh, january 2021 and it will end at uh, 31st of december 2022 okay so this is our date which we have to start with okay and always remember guys don't add unnecessary dates into our calendar or date table all right so we have created our date table this is the date all right so in this particular date we have to add a year as well right so what is the date we have to extract the year also from here so to do that what we can do is in this particular table we have to create a new column so there is an option in table tools here as a new column so just click on this so it is asking you what should be the name of this column so i will just mention it as year and you want to extract the year from here so i will just click year function and what should be the date so this is the date we want here right that is calendar date okay this is the calendar date which we want right so from here we will take this particular date that is calendar date and when i hit enter you can see it is extracting year from this particular date all right so this is one thing which we have to determine here we are also going to extract month from here right so for that again we will go ahead in table tools and we will click on new column okay and here we want what month 
here we want as month and for month we can't use month function because it will give us a month number so we will be using a format function over here format what should be the value okay uh, so what value you have to convert here so it is the date so that is calendar date this is the calendar date okay and we want to convert it into format what should be the format if you are specifying in double inverted comma four times m and closing our parenthesis it will give us the full month or the name of full month here right so but we don't want full month we just want first three letters so i will just remove one m and it should be only three times and i will just hit enter you can see it is converted into three times right so in this way we have created our calendar here right but if you could right now if you can see they are separate entities okay they are not connected to each other this is a separate table and this is the separate custom table which we have created as a time intelligence functions to operate time intelligence functions we call it as a date table which is very very much important whenever you are working on any domain if there is a date field so we have a date field called accident date in our table and you want to determine year to date calculations always remember you have to create a calendar table where you specify that whether your fiscal year is starting from january or it is starting from somewhere mid okay but for our case it is starting from january so from january to december by default it will give us the year to date okay year to date is nothing for what is the date or what is the period of the year which you want to determine the values for so this is very important to understand guys all right i hope you have understood the next thing what you have to do is we have to connect these two different tables and this is our next step that is data modeling in our power bi project so to do that you have to go into this particular model view functions okay so as soon as i click on model view here are two tables created initially i have shown you the model view there was only date table data table now the new table which we have created in power bi itself that is a calendar table which is called as a date table as well so now what here we have to do is we have to specify or we have to connect our these two dates okay so what we have to do is i will take this particular accident date and i will take it and place it over this date okay so you can see a relationship has been created over here that is one to many okay so from here this particular date which we have it will be a distinct date okay so when i go in data view and when i click on date over here so this particular date every row is distinct it is not repeated anywhere okay but this particular date which we have accident date it might be repeated okay there may be an accidents which may can happen like for today's date there may be multiple accidents happened right so you can see 8 april so you, you can see here 8 april is repeated three times all right so in this case what we have done is so here the date will be having a unique value here the accident date may have multiple values so it is connecting one to many this have many values this has a single value so the cardinality which automatically power bi determines is one to many relationship this is the data modeling now whatever operations will be performed we will be performing on this particular date in our further calculations because we are already connected to this particular date here we will be not using this date now we will be using this date in our further calculations so this was what data modeling so after doing of our all prerequisites creating a modeling creating a date table we will start our actual design and development of our dashboard so we will go back to our report view and this is our report view where we will start building our visuals so first requirement which we have uh, which is provided by our user and our client is to determine the primary kpi that is to determine the total casualties and accident for current year okay and find out its year on year growth with respect to last year so we want it to find out for current year that is we want it to determine it up to year to date okay that is from january to december right so our current year in our case the fiscal year will be for uh, from 1st of jan to 31st of december which i discussed in data modeling itself and in data processing as well so to do that what we have to do is we have to create a custom measure to determine the year to date so for that i will just go on to data table right click here and click click on new major okay so this is the major we will name this major as 
करंट इयर कैजुअलिटीज वी वॉन्ट टू डिटरमाइन करंट इयर कैजुअलिटीज ओके सो दिस इज अवर करंट इयर कैजुअलिटीज और इयर टू डेट कैजुअलिटीज विच इज द प्राइमरी के पी आई विच वी विल बी डिजाइनिंग एंड हियर वी विल बी मेक यू मेकिंग यूज ऑफ टाइम इंटेलिजेंट फंक्शंस एंड वी विल मेक यूज ऑफ दिस न्यू कैलेंडर टेबल विच वी हैव क्रिएटेड एंड वी विल बी यूजिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर डेट वी विल नॉट यूज एक्सीडेंट डेट बिकॉज वी हैव ऑलरेडी क्रिएटेड अ डेटा मॉडल वेर वी हैव जॉइंट आवर एक्सीडेंट डेट विद डेट राइट दिस पर्टिकुलर डेट सो दिस पर्टिकुलर डेट विल टेक ऑल द वैल्यूज फ्रॉम हियर ओनली बट वी विल बी यूजिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर डेट इट सेल्फ फॉर ऑल अवर फर्दर कैलकुलेशन सो टू डिटरमाइन इयर टू डेट कैजुअलिटीज और करंट इयर कैजुअलिटीज वी हैव अ फंक्शन इन पावर बी आई कॉल्ड एज टोटल वाई टी डी ओके सो दिस इज टोटल वाई टी डी इफ यू वॉन्ट टू फाइन क्यू टी डी एम टी डी वी हैव द फंक्शन एज वेल सो आई विल क्लिक ऑन टोटल वाई टी डी सो दिस इज इन इन बिल्ड फंक्शन इन पावर बी आई तो इट इज फॉर डैक्स एंड देर आर फ्यू आर्ग्यूमेंट्स विच इट इज टेकिंग सो फर्स्ट आर्ग्यूमेंट इज एक्सप्रेशन वॉट इज फॉर विच पर्टिक्युलर फील्ड यू वॉन्ट टू डिटरमाइन द टोटल वाई टी डी सो वी वॉन्ट टू टू डिटरमाइन फॉर नंबर ऑफ कैजुअलिटीज एंड वट शुड बी द एग्रीगेशन इट शुड बी सम एंड वट इज द फील्ड और कॉलम नेम विच वी आर टेकिंग इज नंबर ऑफ कैजुअलिटीज सो दिस इज द कॉलम फील्ड नेम वी विल क्लोज अवर ब्रैकेट ओके एंड द सेकेंड फील्ड वी वॉन्ट इज with 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 respect to which date you want to determine the total yitd so the date we will be using this particular calendar date we will not use the accident date because it is already related with one to many relationship with respect to date so we'll be using this date that is calendar date okay so this will be our calendar date and i will close this particular bracket and i will hit enter okay so as soon as i hit enter you can see this particular current year casualties field have been or major have been created over here so now what we have to do is we have to create a kpi so in this particular visualization tab or if it is closed you have to open in this way and you can see there is one card call here uh, which is a kpi card so when i just click on this you can see a kpi card is uh, appeared over here and we want to add a field into this card so what you have to do is we have to bring in the new current year casualty field which we have created either you can just tick over here likewise okay so it will give us the field value over here or you can just take this and drag it over into the fields okay so you can see this is our current year casualties field which has been created over here so now we will do some formattings on this so i will just go i will select this visual so if you are not selecting visuals you can see some of the options are vanished from here so you have to click on this visual and you can see this particular format your visual option has been created and in call out value i will just click over here and this is the display what should be the display unit if you want to change it to thousand millions billions or trillions you can do that and if you want to change the decimal points you can do it here so i will just click and show it for one decimal point so we will be showing it for one decimal point so exact or almost approximate figure we will get that is 195.77k casualties have been created for this year okay that is for 2022 year it will not show for 2021 because we have used total ytd function if i take this particular if so i will show you a new card okay let me show you the new card and i will show you what are the total figures so i will just take this and put it over here so if we can see 418k are sum of number of casualties of total year for 2021 and 2022 so this is the total figure but we want it for current year itself so this is the current year figure which we have determined by using a total ytd function all right so or now i will just delete this now we have already created a kpi but we have to also bring our background for this particular dashboard in power bi so that we can start making our dashboard and start placing our kpis in the dashboard simultaneously as we are designing the charts as well so uh, if i show you the dashboard first and let me show you the dashboard so the background which we have used here uh, the background has been created in our uh, powerpoint so i will show you how to create and i will give you an overview how it is created so if you can see this is the background which we will be using so i have created a separate video on how to create a background so i will add the link in the description you can go ahead and watch this and for now you can directly use this background and import it into our power bi so it is not that much that much difficult to create such backgrounds 
so this is and layout of the background how i have created i have taken one big shape then i have divided it into small shapes and i have created it's in a such a way that uh, it will be holding a containers where my kpis and my other sheet will be placed all right so uh, the background which i have created so this is the background which i have used i have also created some samples for you as well with different color combinations whichever you like you can go ahead and use it into your dashboard or in your project uh, if you want to use some custom colors you can do that as well i will show you how to do that so first you have to click on to this particular shape right click and click on format shape okay and you have to go in fill options and you have to go in the gradient fill so this is the first gradient stop and the second gradient stop at two extreme edge the first we have used the black color and second i have used so first i have used the blue color and second i have used the dark color and at 10 percent of transparency for both the ends so in this way you can create your own uh, background colors as well and the dish, uh, the link i will mention in the link uh, for this particular file to download as well and the link for the video as well on how to create dashboards or the background for the dashboards all right so now for now i will be using directly this one so that uh, how to how to use this so you have to go into file and you have to click on save as and you have to find a folder for you first i will be using this particular folder and in this folder you have to save this particular file as an jpg file okay so you have here a jpg option this in this uh, format file you have to save it i will name it as dashboard or background for road accident okay i will mention it as a road accident and we have to just click on save then it will ask you if you want to export this particular this slide or all the slides into a converted image so i just want this particular slide. i will just click on this one then you will go back to our power bi so make sure no sheet is selected you just have to click outside then you have to go into this format your report page okay in this particular option you have different options are there and in that you have a canvas background canvas background is nothing but this particular background which here you have to if you see here you have to do that so you can use colors as well okay so this is the color which we have used if you don't want to use color then you can go ahead and choose an image from here which i have created already from a powerpoint so this is the image which i have created that is background for road accidents i will just open this and this is uh, been shown over here in your case it will be not shown because uh, it is a transparency in your case is 100 percent so it will even if you have uh, bought this image into your visualization but if but the transparency is 100 percent so it is not showing for you you have to reduce this transparency to zero percent so that uh, this particular image is visible for you into your power bi so there are different multiple options as well uh, if you want to do some settings on this particular uh, what we can say canvas background which we have added so there is one more option here called as canvas settings so i will just explode it so what i will happen is there here is an option called as vertical alignment so right now if you can see it is by default at top means what there is a white space over here so when i go ahead and click it on middle so you can see it will come into a middle and it will give us the even space from the top and uh, bottom side right so i will just keep it on middle right now and it will be looking nice for us to design right so this is what we have designed our or we have bought our background into picture as well the next thing what we have to do i will just start placing our key api into here uh, in this particular size perfectly so i will just place it over here and i will reduce this size and i will make it make sure that it is perfectly fit into this particular window okay then i will select this select this particular visual go to our format visual then in callout values we will change this to 40 i will choose 40 as my font size then i will make this as white color okay and you can see it is not seeing right now here and when first then you have to go in general tab here after visual you have to go in general tab you have to go in effects and in background you have to turn off this background okay so this particular number is visible right now all right then we will go back to our visual again and we'll in this particular category label so current year casualties is shown below the number so i don't want this so i will just turn off this and then we will go again back to general and in effects here i will add or in title i will add a title over here just i will just turn this on and we will be using our custom title here that is total current year casualties okay so this is my custom title and for this i will be using a font as 
this will be my font that is Sageo UI semi bold and the font size which I will be using is 13 and it I will align it as center and the color for this should be again this particular 10% darker white all right so this is our KPI so I will just make it a little up all right so this is our first KPI which we have added over here the next thing which we have to add is as per our requirement is year on year growth also we have to determine all right so to determine the year on year growth we have to also determine the previous year casualties calculation okay because the formula to determine the year on year growth is current year casualties minus previous year casualties total divided by the previous year casualties so to use this formula first we have to determine the previous year casualties so we will follow the same procedure over here you have to click right click on this particular data uh, and you have to uh, table and you have to click on new measure and in this case our new measure will be previous year casualties we will name it as previous year casualties all right so now as we have seen to determine current year casualties we have inbuilt function called uh, year to date okay but in this case we will be using some custom functions and so for that i will be using a first dax function that is calculate okay so we'll we have to use a calculate then it is asking us the first argument as expression so we want it for sum of okay we will be using an aggregation of sum for number of casualties okay so we want to previous year for number of casualties we will close this bracket okay and we want the second casualties where that it should be filtered on what right we want to filter it on what so this year we will be using one more function that is called as a same period last year okay so same period last year is nothing but this is a time intelligence function uh, which i have discussed initially so what does time intelligence function do same period last year means for the same period which we have used for year to date the same period last year will be used for previous year to date and it will give us the output here right so we will use same period last year and we will be using here as a calendar date the date which we will be using is a calendar date again because we have converted and we have maintained a relationship between them in data modeling so this is our calendar date and i will close this bracket and one more we will close the bracket for the this bracket right and we'll just click enter okay so you can see a new field has been created over here and when i click on this you can see and i will convert this into a card okay so this is 222k is the last year's casualties right so we don't want this to be shown into our visualization we want year on year growth so i will just delete this for now and now i will create one more major over here and it is it will be used to determine year on year casualties so this is what year on year casualties okay and formula is very simple i will add a external parenthesis over here open parenthesis sum of or we can uh, we have already used the sum so we will be using direct total current year casualties okay so we will be using current year casualties minus previous year casualties okay current year casualties minus previous year casualties divided by previous year casualties okay so this will be our formula to determine year on year so this is a universal formula uh, every time we calculate the year on year growth in this way only press enter all right and next we will again take one more card from here i will just click on this and i will take it at center and a new uh, field has been created year on year casualties i will just take this and put it into fields so you can see we have got a 12 percent or minus 12 percent as year on year growth okay but this particular field right now is not converted into percentage so how to do that okay so this is the field which at the bottom last you can see it is the field which we have created click on that field okay so when you click on this particular field you can see there is a formatting options has been activated over here okay you can these are the different options you can go into major tools okay you have to go in major tools and this is the options which we have here and here is the percentage symbol you just have to click on this percentage symbol and how much decimal points we want we want only one decimal point so we will click here one all right then we have to format this as well so i will just click on this go to our form format visuals and in call out value we will choose this uh, the value uh, what we can see the font size for this as 14 and uh, 
we don't want the category label to be shown over here then we will go in general go to effects and turn off the background okay again back we will go to visuals and we will change the call out, call out value color of this particular value color and we will change it to this particular color okay and we will make it as bold all right now we will adjust it, it into our kpi card So we'll just make it a smaller. Try to place it over here. Perfect. So in this way, we have created our first KPI. So what does this value indicate? Or we, if you want to create an insight from here, so very good insight which we can create from here is, as with respect to last year the current year what we can see this particular number has been reduced so it is reduced by minus 11 percent or almost 12 percent so it is a good thing right in this particular case or in this particular project it is a good thing because the number of casualties are reduced okay number of accidents are reduced so it is a good thing for government and all our users so they will try to reduce this number more towards uh, what we can say 50 percent or 60 percent right so they are going uh, what we can say if it is decreasing it is a good way right it is a good thing now what we have to do we have to create the other kpis as well so here what we will do i will select this visual and press control on your keyboard and select this visual all right right click here and group this okay so when i click on this you can see this has been grouped as a single visual and now what we have to just do is i will just control c and control v okay and i will take this visual and i will take it place it over here all right so once every formatting is done we don't have to do formatting again and again right the next thing what we have to determine as per our requirement is to determine total accidents right so if i go to our particular sheet over here so next one is casualties we have determined next we have to determine the total accidents right so now to determine that what we have to do we have to follow same procedures we have to determine same calculations that is for current year casualties we will find it for current year accidents and we will find it for current uh, that is previous year accident and year on year accident so we will follow the same procedures what i will do i will just click on this particular current year casualties okay or we will create a new calculation there so you can click on anywhere in the into this particular field okay and you can just click here new measure right click you have to right click and you have to click on new measure and i will name this as current year accidents all right so we will be using for current year we will be using total function right that is total ytd functions sum of expression right so now in this case the value which we will be using here is so how to determine the current year i will show it in you, you in the data view so i will just close this first and i will go into data view so in data view how to determine the number of accidents so the number of accident is nothing but each what we can say each accident index what we have seen here this this particular column has a unique value on each row okay so each row have a unique value so what we will be doing is we will calculate the count of this particular index that is nothing but our accident number so we will go back to our report view again i will create a major i will name it as current year accidents all right and we will be using a total ytd function so in expression we used for casualty it is a sum but here we will be using count as a function so i will use count function and we want to count accident index okay we have to calculate cal count the counts the accident index i will close the bracket comma with what dates we have to use so we will be using this particular date calendar date as i told you before so it will be calendar date and i will close this parenthesis and just click on enter so it mentions that current year accident is already created so the last right now which we have created that so i will just current year accident i will name it as current year accident count okay enter so it has been created so the current year accident which right now before i have created that is something which i have to delete from here first so i'll just right click on this particular three dots so select this and on these three dots you can go ahead and you have to delete from this particular model and just click on yes 
so we'll be using this particular current year accident count so now we have to show current year accident counts over here so what you have to do you have to select this particular visual right so it as it is grouped you can see when i click on first when i click on first time it, nothing is shown over here so to select this particular visual you have to double click over here right so once you double click this particular visual will be selected and you can see current year casualties this is the number what we are showing here so i will just delete this we don't want to show this we want current year accident count so we will take it and place it over here so this is our current year accident count the next what we will calculate is previous year accident because we want to determine year on year growth so for the same again we will right click over here create a new measure and we will name it as previous year accidents all right and for previous year accidents we will be using again a calculate function and expression is nothing but we will be using an aggregation as count and it will be count counting accident index okay, because it is a unique row unique column for us having each row having a different value comma we will be using the function again same period last year and the date we will be using is a calendar date and we will close the bracket two times and press as end all right so now we have to calculate again year on year growth okay so i will just again right click anywhere create a new measure all right and we will name it as year on year accidents all right and now what we have to do here is we will open create a bracket here current year accident counts minus previous year accidents and we will divide it by previous year accidents okay and just press enter okay so you can see a new field has been created that is previous year accidents now we have to replace this particular value with respect to that so again you have to double click on this particular value so one in one click only this grouped uh, what we can say value or this particular container will be selected because we have grouped this you have to double click on this okay so when you double click on this you can see this is uh, this card will be activated and right now it is year on year casualty so i will just delete this you can take your on your accidents and place it over here okay so you can see this is what your on your accidents it is also 12 percent almost but you have to convert it into percentage proper percentage so select this particular field that is your on your accidents go to major tools convert this to click on this percentage and convert this to one decimal points okay so this is your second requirement that is primary kpis and from this also you can get an insight that it is decreased the total accidents have been decreased by 11 percent right now we have to change this title as well so double click over here again so this particular visual will be selected so once you double click you have to go into format your visual okay so once you go and format your visual go in general go in title and change this to instead of current year casualties we will name it as current year accidents all right so these two kpis has been created next again what we will do i will just select this okay if you click once all this visual externally it will be selected both the visuals when you double click individual visuals will be selected so i have group, grouped it purposefully because whenever you are changing its position both will be grouped and they will be changing their position right so what i will do i will just click one single click i will just press ctrl c and i will create one more instance okay and i will place it over here okay just bring it at center by by selecting and using your arrow keys also you can move your visuals okay so now what we have to change here is now we have to determine as per our next requirement we have to determine the total casualties by accident severity and those also for current year and year on year growth okay so now this is total current year casualties now we want to determine uh, casualties with respect to accident severity now this is very simple so total we have the total casualties uh, for year to date so we just i will double click on this particular visual i will open the filters as well over here because we will be using a filter over here we have a current year casualties but just we have to filter it and we have to show it for accident severity of fatal okay first we will show it for fatal so what we will do we will take this severity and we will place it over here so this means what it will be filtered only for this visual if you put it over here it will be filter for all this particular page and if you put this uh, this particular accident severity into this particular panel so it will be filtered for it will be used for all the pages which you will be going to create in future 
okay so you have to create only for this visual so filter on this visual you have to take the accident severity and you have to put it over here okay so you can see this has been created so i will just click on fatal so you can see it will give us only for fatal similarly i will just double click on to this year on year as well because this is also that we have to change we have to use this also we have to add a filter on this also so i will take again accident severity and i will put it on this particular filter and you will choose it for fatal so you can see we have got all these values because we are showing fatal casualties only we don't need to create a new calculation we just have to add the filter over here all right so this is casualties for current year on fatal severity and we have to now change the title okay so i will just double click onto this visual okay so this particular card will be selected go into your format visual go into general and we will change the title instead of current year total current year casualties i will name it as current year fatal casualties okay so this is my current year fatal casualties i will just click on outside perfect so in this way we have created our second visual that is third kpi then again i will copy this select only once you have to click on this so it will be selected as a group value control c control v and i will place it over here perfect all right so now next what we have to find it for serious casualties okay again i will double click on to this visual open your filter panel okay and if you can see your accident severity we already have here so you just have to click open this particular or explode this and instead of fatal you have to just select your serious okay so these are serious casualties similarly i will just double click on this and i will just open this and instead of serious for this particular year on year growth we will change it to from fatal we will change it to serious okay so these are your serious casualties all right similarly again i will just copy this and paste it and we will create one more instance and we will place it over here okay again double click onto this particular card okay here double click on this card and change the filter again okay instead of serious we will use now slide and similarly on year on year growth double click over here and instead of this serious we will change it to slide perfect and we have to change the titles of this also so double click on this go to format visuals in general you have to change the title instead of fatal this will be serious and similarly double click on this as well and change it to instead of fatal will be slight perfect right so in this way we have created our primary kpis so if you can see observe this particular number it is not showing in the format of our thousands so i will just double click on this okay we have to select this visual double click on this particular visual go to our format your visual go into call out values and instead of auto choose here as thousands okay so you can see it has converted to display on it as a thousand all right so this in this way we have created our primary kpis all right so we have created our kpi but uh, for the last three kpis i will show you what are the insights from here the fatal casualties are nothing but during an accident who are very seriously injured or badly injured those are our fatal casualties serious are nothing but who are uh, less than fatal but more than slight somewhat they are also uh, badly injured itself a slight is nothing but they have just caught up in an accident but those are not badly injured or they have just got small injuries right so these are subdivided into this accident severity and with respect to that uh, you can see fatal casualties are around 3000 then serious are around 27 and slider 165 so these are not uh, like the figures if you can see with respect to last year those are decreasing okay so fatal have decreased 33 percent so it is a good thing this serious have been increased decreased the 16 percent okay so in this case if they are decreasing this is a good thing for a user or for us people as well that road accidents are decreasing all right so this was an insight from here the next thing what we have to add over here is the dashboard title so uh, we will add the dashboard title for that you have to go into home tab and there is a text box over here so i will just click on text box and this text box will be generated so i will just click over here and i will type that it as road accident road accident analysis Okay, and I will select this particular all this particular uh, thing. I will name it as Sergio. Uh, the for, uh, what I can say, uh, I will I will change the font to DIN D I N this particular font, and I will change this particular to 36. I will use 36 as my font size. Okay, 
and I will make it as bold okay and I will just increase this all right and we will place it over here okay so you can take it and place it over at the top all right then select this particular uh, what I can say this particular text box you have to select this text box and you have to go into this format and you have to go in effects and you have to say none for this background okay then you can just increase the bit size and you have you can select this particular total so what we can say text and then you have to go into this format colors and you will choose this particular color all right and just click outside so this will be our title of this particular dashboard the next what we have to use here is or we have to design as per our requirement if you can go ahead and see the requirement which we have here okay so this is the requirement we will be designing our secondary kpis where it says that total casualties with respect to vehicle type for current year okay so this is the casualties or vehicle with respect to vehicle type we determine casualties and those also with respect to current year only okay so we will go back to our dashboard over here and here we will be designing it so now if you can see we have a vehicle type uh, field in our visualization so if i bring this particular vehicle type and directly place it over here so if we can see there are multiple vehicle types available here all right so you can see there are more than or 10 to 15 vehicle types are there but we want to only show six okay that is if i if i show you our, our previous dashboard and uh, this is our dashboard you can see only six particular vehicle types we have shown over here so what we have to do is we have to use a group function over here so we, i will go back to our dashboard and what i will do i will just delete this for now or i will just keep it as it is and what i have to do is i have to group some of these particular vehicle types and consolidate it in, into one okay so i will just right click on this particular vehicle type you have to right click on this vehicle type and you have to click on new group okay so this particular dialog box will be opened so what we will be doing here is uh, whatever all the motorcycle we will add it into one category so i will just select this motorcycle press control on your keyboard select this select all the motorcycles as well as the pedal cycle okay because it is a type of it comes in cycle or motorcycle itself and i will group this okay so you can say a group of this has been created i will double click on this and i will change the name to bike okay so this is my bike group the next i will create a car group so this is my one uh, first group into this and first member of the group and taxi also is a car type so i will choose this also as a car type and i will group this and i will name it as car okay so this is one group then bus and minibus i will add this two into one group so i will just group this and i will double click and i will name it as bus group all right then goods vehicle that is this one this one and vans i will add this into one group so goods vehicle seven point tons three point tons and three point tons above or under okay so i will just group this one okay and this will be named as van okay all right so then uh the uh, ridden horse and other vehicle okay this two i will add in another group and i will name it as others okay so this is my other group because we don't have any information on this so this is my other group and agriculture vehicle itself is uh, i will keep it as a single one member into this group and i will click on group and i will name it as or we will keep the name at agriculture and i will just remove the vehicle i will name it as only agricultural okay so these are our groups i will just click on ok and you if you can see when i bring this particular into visualization i will take this and bring here okay you can see okay so this particular vehicles and i will just place this after this all right so if you can see agriculture is this car will be car and car will be also having taxi van will be having this and van will so van also having this particular rights so in this way we have created the groups now we will go ahead and create our secondary kpi so for now i will just remove this okay so now to create a secondary kpi here we have a particular visual called multi row card okay so you have to select this multi row card so this will be appeared over here the next thing what you have to do is we have to take the vehicle type new group created take this and put it into fields okay so you can see all this have been added over here and in front of them what you have to show is current year casualties okay so we don't have to create a calculation we have already created the major over here so i will take this current year casualties and i will place it below this particular thing okay you have to place it below just place it over here okay so it is under this particular vehicle type so you can see this card has been created over here i will just extend it a bit 
all right so this is the card which we have created but if you can see the current year casualties current year casualties it is repeating every time we don't want to repeat because we will be mentioning it in title itself that this is, these are the current year casualties so what we will do select this visual go to into our format visual and in category label just turn this off you can see it has been gone from here so i will just make it small and a bit bigger and we will try to place it over here okay make it a bit bigger more all right so now what we have to do is we have to format this particular visual so what i will do i will select this visual then you can go into this particular format your visual and in call out values what we have to do here is we have to change this to i will change the font to din okay i will have changed the values font to din and i will choose this font size as 20 and i will make it as bold okay and in cards i will go okay so in cards instead of giving a blue color to this i will change this and i will choose the font for this as sejo ui semi bold okay and i will change this particular color uh, that is blue color to this particular things i will change this to and i will go in more colors and i will use my own color custom code over here hashtag 19 d 20 c okay so this will be my color code and i will just as you can see color has been added and i will increase the font size to 14 all right so this is and i will also make it as bold or if it, yes okay if not also bold you can you can convert this also to din only i will convert this to din and i will make it as bold okay so this looks good all right so we will just adjust it properly over here okay and we will take it a bit down all right so this looks nice next what we have to do we have to uh, hide this background okay so select this go to general and go to effects and turn on the background next you can see this font color we have to change the font color of this value so again go to visual and from here in call out values okay if in, you have to go in call out values and from here instead of black we will choose this 10 percent dark okay so we have chosen this font okay just close this everything all right and you can go in cards okay you have to open the card and in accent bar go down so accent bar is nothing but see this vertical bars you can see which divides this particular kpis okay so instead of width 2 i will use width as 3 okay you can increase the width right you can see this width has been increasing instead of every anything i will choose as 3 as a font for me so you can see i have placed all these values over here so now next what we have to do is i will just adjust them properly we have to add the images of each and every particular vehicles over here okay so to do that what we have to do is i will go in insert over here in insert tab and click on image over here okay and you can see i have added already these images i will put this particular folder in the description box where you can download and you can use these images so these images are downloaded from google you can get different images as well just make sure you are downloading the png image that is transparent background image okay so i will first add it for a uh, tractor image for a uh, agriculture vehicle so this is a tractor image i will just reduce it somewhat i will play, place it over here okay and you can by arrow keys you can adjust it properly so in this case in this way again i will go in home and i will again uh, sorry go in insert add an image and i will add it for bike so i will be using this image and i will reduce it place it over here all right so in this way what i will do i will add all the images and i will just fast forward this video so we will uh, save our time in this okay so in the same way you have to add all the pictures over here all right so after placing all the images we will add a title also so for this i will just take a text box and i will add it as a casualties by vehicle type okay casualties by vehicle type okay so I'll select this entire visual okay and go ahead and change this to 13 
or 11 is fine and sajio i will choose this as sajio ui and make it as bold okay and select this particular visual try to increase the size okay just place it over here right and then you can go into this particular format after selecting this go to format in effects you have to just turn on the background and select this entire and choose as white color all right so this is what casualties by vehicle type so uh if you if you can see from this particular visual or from this particular secondary kpi what are the insights from here so you can see that car is one particular vehicle type which is creating maximum number or which is uh maximum number of accidents are occurred due to a car type or what we can say a vehicle type and maximum number of accidents are also done by this so the casualties are so high all right so in this way we have to you know take a care in such a way that four wheelers should uh, be drive properly there should be norms and regulations for four wheelers uh, in such a way that the accidents can be reduced and in turn the number of casualties will also reduce all right so we have placed our uh, primary and secondary kpis then now we will go ahead and prepare our other charts the next chart as per our requirement which we have to design here is the area chart for current year and month uh, previous year monthly trend so i will show you the requirement document first so this is the requirement that is monthly trend showing comparison of current year casualties for current year versus previous year all right so we will come back to our dashboard and here we will be designing that particular chart okay so we will uh, in visualization i will just open this and i will choose here from area chart you just have to click on area chart i will bring it into center all right so we need to some particular fields in x axis y axis and legends or all other particular uh, what we can say holders so in x axis what we want on x axis is month okay so month we have already created one the calendar which we have already created in that particular we have already created a month year or the month column so i will just take this and i will put it into x axis so this month has been added over here next on y axis what we want is the number of casualties so we want current year and previous year so we will not use see this particular created measures we will just use inbuilt measure that is this particular measure that is number of casualties i will take it and will put it into y axis okay so you can see a single line chart has been created which is showing us the casualties with respect to what we can say month but what i will do we want to separate this particular two years chart right we want two years different trend line so i will go ahead and uh, i will go into this particular particular date okay what i will do i will take this date take this particular date and put it into legends okay so as soon as you put it into legends your chart is somewhat disturbed but what we can do here is there is a small drop down over here click on this particular drop down and create a date hierarchy over here and in that date hierarchy it is taking by default year as this particular hierarchy so what have been created this particular chart has been created which is showing the 2021 and 2022 years casualties okay so we have to add it into this particular placeholder so just take it and add it in this particular holder i will make use of arrow keys this way this way perfect so now what we have to do we have to format this chart so to format this chart select this chart then go to our format visuals okay and in x axis what i will do i will just explode this axis okay and we don't want title over here we just want this particular numbers because title will be mentioned in our um, chart title itself so i will just turn off this for x axis similarly for y axis also i will turn off the title okay then we will go into general and in this particular general in effects we will uh, turn off our background okay so now background has been turned on now what we can see here is uh, we have to format this chart very much okay so go back to visual okay and in grid lines we don't want grid lines as well so go to grid lines and turn this off okay next what we have to do here is we don't want legend over here we will be showing the legend in different way turn off the legend we don't want the y axis also secondary y axis we don't want that as well the next thing i will just convert this x axis and y axis labels to white color so click on x axis 
and in this particular in color choose this as color that is 20% darker similarly we will go in y axis also and in y axis choose these values and in values we will change the color to 20% darker okay and we have to change the title of this chart as well so i will just go in general and in this particular title option we will change this to current current year casualties versus previous year casualties monthly trend right select all and or not not required to select all and we will change this to the font font we will change it to schedule ui semi bold and we will choose as 11 as a font or 12 is fine for us and we will make it as this color that is 10 percent dark okay or we will reduce it as 11 okay so this is we will keep consistency all right then next i will again select this and we have to show which particular line is for 2021 and which is for 2022 select this visual go to format visual and in visual you have to go down and there is a series label option over here just explore this okay and turn it on okay so you can see series label options has been activated over here next what you have to do is we have to go in values over here and we have to convert this into sergio ui semi bold nine is the value color which we want and we will change the color to yellow okay so you can see the this line is for 2021 and below line is for 2022 the very important point over here if you can observe this particular trend line or this area chart this particular chart is starting from april and ending at september but as per our fiscal year it should start from january and end it to december so why this is happening what is happening here guys is by default power bi is applying the sorting with respect to alphabetical in ascending order right so you can see it is applied alphabetically but we don't want it alphabetically we want it with respect to the months of uh, the flow of month that is from january to december now this is very important guys so how to convert this into sorting so in power bi it is a bit tricky to convert this particular into sort so for that what we have to do you, you cannot go ahead from this particular sort axis and sort it with respect to month or if you can uh, sort it with respect to ascending or descending if you see in descending it will start from september means what it is starting from descending uh, with respect to the uh, what we can say alphabeticals to do this what we have to do is first i will again go ahead and choose it with respect to descending oh sorry with respect to ascending so this was our original chart uh, one second okay so this was our original chart that is starting from april and ending with september now we have to change this how to change this guys to make this custom short we have to go into our tables right in data view we have to go in our data view okay and in particular data view we will go in calendar okay so this is sheet we are showing click on calendar so this is the calendar table which we have created so in this case we will create one more column over here so click on new column and name it as month number okay we will name it as month number and we will type or we will use a formula over here is as month okay we will use this particular month formula and we want to extract the month from particular date that is from calendar day okay and close this parenthesis and what will this do guys this particular month function will give the month number of this particular date so when as soon as i hit enter you can see the month number has been created and it is giving that one as number for january so when we go in february or march the fourth of march will have a three as a number right in this way we are going down for each month it will give us the number now go back to our report view now what we have to do we have to sort this particular month column so now go ahead and select this month column okay so this month column we have to sort it with the month number so go and select this and here you have an option called sort column okay after selecting go in column tools there is an option called sort click on this and sort it with month number okay so you can see as soon as i click on this you can see our visual has been sorted from january february march to december so what it has done guys this particular month these numbers or this month from january to december are sorted with respect to month 
and it is sorted in ascending order that is january as first position and december as last position and in respective way we have sorted this so next we need to change the color of this particular area chart so i will go ahead and select this area chart go to format your visuals and in this particular visual option you have a lines as an option over here so drop down it and you can see there is an option for line over here and in that we have one more option called as color so open this and for 2022 i will use blue as a color okay and for 2021 we will change this to uh, this particular color right so this is our for 2021 and 2022 which is giving us the idea of what we can say current year and the previous year casualties monthly trend the next as per our requirement document we will design our other sheets that is we have to create the donut charts first we will create the donut charts and then we will go ahead with the other charts so for the donut charts we need to show uh, with respect to urban and rural low the number of current year casualties and uh, same for the light conditions in this particular container for current year casualties so for donut chart we have a card over here so i will just click on this particular card i will take it to center and we need to add a legend over here so for in legend i will take the urban and rural area and i will just place it over into this legend and we want to show the current year casualties so take this particular current year casualties and put it into the values you can see this particular uh, urban and rural area has been created so i will just place this particular chart perfectly in this particular container which we have designed all right perfect now what we will do we have to format this visual so to select this visual go into format visual and in legend we don't want to show any legends we will be showing everything into our details tab only so in data data details we want it outside but we want uh, to show the category and the percentage of total so i will just select category and percentage so urban rural and its percentage will be shown over here then we will go in general and we will just hide this background go in effects and turn off the background all right now we will uh, format the other things we will format the title first so it is the current year casualties by urban or rural so i will just change this to urban slash rural and we will choose the font as semi bold and we will change it to 11 okay and make it as white 10 percent darker all right the next we have to change in visual as well so in this particular details what we are showing here we have to change the values as well for this and we will take it as white all right so this is our donut chart and the next what we have to do is uh, we have to change the colors as well so uh, what we can do is in rotation if you want you can change the rotation also if it is not perfectly fitting on here so for now the labels are correctly showing so i will not change the rotation for this the next i will go in uh, the slices or in the slices tab and in slices tab you have a spacing option over here so i will just reduce this spacing or i will just increase the spacing to 70 percent or 65 uh, percent okay so this is the spacing which i will be using and i will change the colors for this as well so i will just change this color for urban i will be using and custom color so go in more colors and i will use a different color code over here so hashtag i will be using ad a capital d 5129 okay so this will be my color all right and for this particular thing i will be using this color all right this one that is third color or blue that is 20 percent lighter so this is for urban and rural so same we will be using and you will be drawing it for uh, the light condition so i will just control c this particular select this particular control c and control v and we will take it same as it is downward okay let's try to increase the size in this way all right the next thing we have to change this for uh, light conditions okay so i will just select this visual and i will remove the urban and rural area and we have a light conditions over here so this is the light conditions field i will take it and put it into legends but you can see there are multiple options available for light conditions over here so we want only for dark and light okay or for day and night so what we will do we will we will change this particular uh, light conditions and we will group some values so i'll just right click on this and i will click on group okay 
and i will create a new group so we have a daylight over here but all the dark i will just consolidate and add it into one group and i will name it as dark okay or you can mention it as night as well and for daylight i will just group and i will name it as day okay it is with respect to light conditions at day on at dark what are the number of casualties i will just click on okay so this new field has been created so just i will remove this particular and i will add this particular into legend so you can see with respect to day and dark we have got our pet casualty values all right now we will be changing the color for this and title all other things are same only so i will go in our slices and i will change the color over here and i will choose the color for the day as the different one as this okay or we can choose it as this particular color oops this one okay and for dark i will change it to this one perfect okay so this will be our color combinations for day and dark as for day you can use more lighter color but uh, with respect to our background it will not suit it will be very much eye catching so we have used this color combination you can use any other color combination which you want over here all right and we have to change the title as well for this go in general and change the title casualties by light condition okay and just we will remove the current here we don't want to show your cy okay we'll just remove it similarly from here as well we will remove the current here all right so casualties by rural and area casualties by light conditions so we'll just change the title as light conditions okay so the la the la second last chart which we need to add here is the with respect to road type okay the what we can say casualties current year casualties with respect to road type and it is a bar chart so we will choose a stack bar chart from here all right i will take it over here and on y axis i will on x axis first i will take the road type okay so i will take the road type and i will put it on x axis all right and on uh, yeah on y axis we will add the road type sorry so take the road type and put it on y axis and take current year casualties and put it on y axis okay so you can see uh, this is the way we have uh, created this chart so i will just try to place it in this container okay increase the size of this perfect all right so next what we will do we have to format this select this particular chart type go to our format visuals go in general first we will hide all the background then go to our visual and in, uh, we don't want to show x axis and y axis because title and the chart itself is self explanatory so i will just turn off both this and uh, on grid lines also we have turned this off and the data labels we want to show the data labels over here the numbers for this and just drop down this and make that particular data label values as white okay so this is the way we are going to show our data labels on x axis we have to show uh, we have to turn actually on the x axis sorry not the x axis on y axis because we need to show the road types just we do, we don't want this particular axis title on this so i will just drop down this particular y axis and you can see title is there we'll just turn off this title okay and on y axis this particular values which we are visible over here we will just go ahead and change the color to white okay so you can see we have converted this to white and similarly we will go in general and we will change the title over here so it will be casualties by road type okay and we will make it to sejo semi bold 11 as a font and color as white this way right okay perfect similarly i guess this font is some bigger i will just change the font this to 11 or this as well 11 perfect so now we have created our this chart as well and we, we need to change the color of this bar so select this particular chart go to our visuals and in bars you can see here you can change the color from here and i will choose this particular color all right so this is uh, what we have created our bar chart so now we will see some insights from here so if you can see from this particular donut chart urban is the area or the locations from urban area 
they have they are causing more number of casualties and more number of accidents right so government need to focus on urban areas the rural area area is also contributing to maximum but more focus should be there on urban area similarly if you see in you know daylight conditions more accidents are daylight some amount of are there in less in dark why because not all the people or so many people drive at night time so most of them are at daylight time only right and if you can see at the road type okay road type is nothing but if you can see the single carriage way is nothing but one line one way or we can say single lane road dual carriage way is nothing but dual lane road okay so in all of out of all of this road type single lane road has caused like more than 50% of accidents okay we can say 70 to 75% of accidents are occurred due to single lanes right so government and other bodies need to take an action to convert the roadways to double lane right so in this way we, they can reduce the number of accidents per year all right so these are some insights which we can draw from out of this particular dashboard so our final requirement is to develop a chart with respect to location that is casualties with respect to location and to to, to develop this particular map chart make sure guys you are connected to your internet connections because uh, microsoft and bing corporation they both um, provide us or generate us the map with respect to geo coding which will be taken from online so i will just use this particular map and you can see this map has been appeared over here and we are we need to place some uh, fields into this particular visuals so i will take first latitude and i will put it into latitude okay and then we have longitude and i will place it over here in longitude so what we have to do is here is one drop down you have to go ahead and change its aggregation to average i will change it to average similarly for longitude as well i will change it to average okay so and when you convert both this to average you can see it is not displayed right now next what you have to do is you have to take the local accuracy discrete and you have to put it into location okay so when as soon as you put it over here you can see our your chart will be displayed over here next what you have to do is you have to make it fit into this particular container make sure it is correctly fit over here all right next what we will do we will format our visual so i will select this go to our format and go in general and in effects we will first turn off our background over here then we will change our titles that is uh, we will change the title to casualties by location okay so these are casualties by location and we will be using a font as uh, semi bold 11 as a font size and white 10% darker as a color all right so this is our chart then select this chart again go to our visual and now we need to change some uh, what we can say labels over here so in bubbles first we will go in bubbles and we will change the size of bubbles first we will decrease it okay and we will take it as 15 okay so we will decrease and make it as 15 and we will change the color of for bubbles as this color okay you will use a yellow color then go in map settings and in map settings there are different types of colors available here like light color with respect to that the map will be changed with respect to gray scale again the map will be changing aerial color okay so these are the different color combination which we have when we will be using the dark one okay choose the dark as our map settings okay then next what you can go is uh, you can go in our controls over here we don't want to auto zoom it okay so we'll just turn this off but we want custom zoom buttons over here so i will just turn this on and you can see custom zoom buttons will be appeared over here so we'll just zoom it okay just zoom it so that it is taking the correct size okay so this is enough okay so this is our zoom so next what we will do we will just reduce the bubbles more so i will just close this and we will increase decrease the bubble size to 18 okay so this is fine all right so this is our map chart and next what we will go is go in style again and in controls turn on our lasso button as well okay what is this lasso button is nothing but when you click on this and if you want to select some area like if you want to analyze this particular area in rectangular shape so it will give us the idea of that particular picture only all right 
so right now interactive filters are there so when i click the other filters will be uh, what we can say visuals will be filtered out we will change that later all right so this is how we have created our donut uh, this particular chart but what information we need from here is all the information will be uh, you can say uh, will be showing up in tooltip only so if you can see this is the tooltip but tooltip is only showing the latitude and longitude over here we, we want to show the number of casualties and number of accidents as well so select this particular visual as soon as you select and go into our build visual tab and here you can see tooltip is there so we want to show number of accidents so take this casualties put it over here and take the number of vehicles and drop it over here as well okay so now you when you click uh, go ahead and you can see in this particular area the district is valley royal and the number of casualties were 97 and number of vehicles accident involved were 149 all right so in this way we have created our this visual as well the next thing is very important thing is to apply the filters on here right and now to how to apply the filters here is first we will work on interactive filters then we are we will add the slicers over here so when i when i click on this particular thing you can see all the visuals are we can see filtering out but if you can see this particular donut chart it is highlighting it is not filtering out correctly similar this particular bar chart is also not filtering correctly you can see it is only highlighting with respect to those values all right but we want the complete filter so what we have to do is select this particular chart okay then go in format okay and in format there is option called edit interaction so click on this so as soon as you click on this all the edit interaction filters are showing up on each and every chart okay so what we will do with respect to this particular field or this particular chart you have to select this chart and if you can see in the, this particular donut chart this particular highlight option has been activated over here okay so i will just click over here and it is deactivated and now what i will activate is filter option so when i click on this this particular filter option is filled with black color it means that it is activated so now when i click on this particular thing so you can see it is changing but it is actually filtering it is not highlighting similar way so in this case also it is highlighting so we have to change this and we have to click on this particular filter option so as soon as i click on filter option you can see this particular are now filtering right so with respect to this it is filtering actually right so in this way we have changed this okay so now it is up to us that with respect to which visual what should be changed okay so now i one more thing is here when i choose this particular visual right when i am choosing month and all these things okay so let's say i am choosing this particular month with respect to that all the visuals are changing but my requirement and my client requirement is in such a way that after choosing this chart or any particular member on this chart no visual will be uh, should be filtered okay so to do that what we have to do is so I've click on this particular area chart and with this area chart nothing should be visualized or nothing should be filtered out so there is an option called this none option so you have to activate this when i click on this if it is black it is activated so if you have to go ahead and click every all these options on all the charts convert this into none okay click on this particular black options for all the charts okay in this way similarly for this oops select this and this as well and this as well similarly for this as well these are images if you if you don't do it no, doesn't matter so, okay so now when i click on this nothing is changing you can see none none of the visual is filtering similarly in same way uh if i click on this particular visual and i click on this particular bar these are highlighting but it should be filtered so you have to turn this filter on okay so now it is filtering now it is filtering okay so this is a good practice okay similarly with respect to this also when i click here those are highlighting so it should be filtered okay it should be filtered completed all right so we have uh, uh with respect to again by location also we don't want to filter our chart okay so you have to click on locations and you have to turn on everything turn off everything okay so in this way you can go ahead and do that as well and now next thing what we have to do is we have to add our slicers over here okay so now how to add the slicers so to add the slicer we have an option over here slicer so what i will do i will just go over here uh, in slicers what we have to do is this is the slicer card just click on this particular card this will be opened and the slicers what we want here is we want the slicer for first is uh, the road type okay uh, not the road type weather conditions okay 
so we will find the weather conditions where is it okay this is the weather conditions and we will bring it over here okay so we can see these are the different weather conditions but there are so many weather conditions we don't want all to be displayed we will consolidate them so for now what i will do i will just delete this okay and we will take this weather conditions uh, let us find it this is the weather condition right click and we will group the members over here so i will add some so for rainy season i will add all this uh, rainy season weather conditions and i will name it as rainy weather or rain weather okay this will be my first then i will change the fine all fine conditions i will change it to fine that is fine weather there is weather is very clean then fog and snowy will add it in one group and i will name it as snow fog and other will be other itself okay this will be other itself i will just click on okay you can see this new field has been created now i will go ahead and clear the slicer and i will take the weather and i will put it over here okay so you can see this has been created now you can see here these options should be uh, what disabled for us this particular highlighted option so click on any chart over here okay click on any chart go to format and turn off this okay so that all these interactions will go now select this particular options okay so we have to format this particular slicer now so select this particular slicer go to our format visual go to slicer slating and it should be drop down okay we want a drop down option and in selection there should be a multi select option and select all option okay so means what uh, there should be option to select all and if you want we want to select uh, other options as well so by by mistakenly we have taken the weather conditions we should be taking a group one so i will just click on this go to our build visuals and instead of weather conditions we should take a group which we have created so i will just place it over here and i will delete the first one okay so this is now the conditions which we have and whenever i am changing you can see with respect to that the uh, charts are changing with respect to that okay so now i will just select this go to our visuals go to our general and in title uh, first what we will do in visual slicer slating slicer header we have to go actually in slicer header and we will change this name okay all right this is looks good so i'll just reduce the size try to place it over here all right then select this go to general and in effect turn off the background now what we have to do is we have to convert it into white color okay so i'll just close this option so it will be easier for us what i am doing so go in values okay in values in font color choose this as a font color. okay we are using this as a red color as a font for our values and go to slicer header and for slicer header we will choose this as a color okay so this is our first slicer which we have added the second slicer which we have to add is with respect to the uh, road con road uh, let me check which is the slicers we are adding we need to add is a road surface okay so road surface uh, we will check if we need to create a group or not i will just know yeah so for road surface also we need to create a group so i will just right click here and we will group some of the items over here so for flood and weight we will group this and we will name it as weight area okay or weight road surface for dry it will be a dry only and for snow and ice we will group this to snow or ice okay click on okay all right so now we will create one more filter card over here or we can just delete this and we can copy the control c and control v so we will just change everything in here only okay so instead of weather conditions we will just delete this and we will take our road surface conditions group and we will place it over here okay so now what we have to do is we have to just uh, whatever whenever i'm changing with respect to this particular the values are changing right so now we need to change the title over here go to build visuals go to our slicer header and we will change it to road surface okay so this is with respect to road surface and weather so we have added slicer so okay then i will just close this and i will 
show you the dashboard which you have designed so this is our final output guys with respect to requirement we have designed our this complete the project of power bi and in the same way in real time industry as well you will be working in the same way only the case will be that you have to design multiple dashboards and there will be multiple use cases multiple requirements and multiple scenarios which you have to work on you have to uh, you have to sit and you have to uh, decide what calculations should be used what color should be used how to place your dashboard okay so this was uh, a course for beginners all right and intermediates as well so next thing what we have to do is i will show you how to export this dashboard okay so there are different ways to export so in you have to go in file and you have to click on publish okay so in publish this is published to power bi is nothing but on power bi site which is created which is hosted by your client or your company where you can go ahead and publish here so for this you need an email id but for now i will show you how to export this when i click on export and when i click on export to pdf you can see it is converted to pdf and a pdf will be created and this pdf you can send through a mail or whatever you can do it right or you can send this particular power bi file as well all right so in this way we have created this dashboard i hope you have learned something from this and if you have go ahead and like this video subscribe my channel and turn on the notification bell see you in the next one guys bye bye